Hi, this is Mark at LearnHowToGarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener we're going to be planting probably the least popular of the current family which is the red and white currants. If you've watched any of these fruit films before you might want to hop past the next couple of minutes because it just talks about what tools you're going to need. If you've watched one of our fruit growing videos before you need to skip the next sort of 30 seconds to a minute because it's repeated on each one. Before you start with any single variety of fruit, make sure you're prepared for planting it. You need a large bucket of water if you're dealing with bare-rooted plants. You need some fish blood and bone. That's the fertiliser that we're going to add into the ground. You could use grow more, but fish blood and bone uh, works over a longer period. It is organic. And the other thing about it is it's much harder to burn the delicate roots. You need some mycorrhizal fungi. If you don't know what mycorrhizal fungi is, there is a video we've done separately on this. There's a link below this film that will take you straight to it. Well worth incorporating into your planting schemes, into your planting holes. It can quadruple the amount of root growth you get. If you're planting trees, you need some tree ties and a stake. Some good quality compost or some garden compost or well-rotted manure if you can get your hands on it. And obviously, you need your plants. Now this variety of plants has just arrived with me. They all came from a specialist grower and I cannot sort of recommend enough use a specialist grower. My choice has been Blackmore Fruit in Hampshire who have been superb, fantastic range um, of varieties available and you cannot sort of help but be impressed with the quality of these sort of plants when they arrive. And you're thinking about some of these being with you for 25, 30 years. If we're planting pears, they're gonna be with your grandchildren. So go for the best, go for a specialist. Right, now we'll be dealing with whatever variety we're talking about today. Red currants, white currants, we all tend to plant black currants and these tend to get forgotten and I'm not sure why. They're as high in vitamin C, uh, they, come at a slightly different time of the season the white currant jelly makes a beautiful uh, you know addition to your dinner and red currant jelly is classic isn't it you know we've all heard of that and what I've chosen here are a couple of red currants to flower slightly earlier in the season and slightly later sort of mid-July onwards um, this variety here this is um, and I never know how to pronounce this Jockia van Tietz and it's a pot grown one, so we could plant this at any time of the year. Whereas these two, which is our white currants, which is white Versailles, and our red currant here, which is red lake. These are two year old bushes, and as you can see, these are bare rooted. And you get a huge amount of root when you buy these bare rooted plants. These arrived yesterday, they've been sitting in a bucket of water for about 24 hours. And you really don't want any bare roots out in the open like this longer than a couple of minutes. When we pop these in the ground, they're going to go in about there, about three to four centimetres lower into the ground than they were grown in their nursery beds. I've prepared my planting holes. They're about 1.2 metres apart. What I'm going to do now is add some flesh, blood and bone, also some calcified seaweed. Red and white currants like a pH between 6 and 6.5, so slightly more alkaline uh, than some of the other fruit that you'll come across. And I think calcified seaweed is great for that because it's a much more balanced way than lime and it won't burn the roots and it breaks down over an ear, sort of a, a longer period. There is a post about calcified seaweed on Learn How to Garden. I'll put a link below here and then we're going to add some mycorrhizal fungi again there's a post about exactly what that does i really would recommend you watch that i'll show you how to plant them very quickly we're going to put the white currant in the middle so i pick up the red currant which is classic i mean this white currant has the most amazing root system on it and what you want to do is make sure your planting hole is big enough that those roots can spread out and then so I'll just take a piece out of this sign as it's a bit longer. You pop it into the ground, spreading out all these roots as far as they'll go. Now I've incorporated quite a lot of well-rotted compost into the ground for these currants. They do really benefit from a lot of compost going into the ground. And they grow on this short stem and then you create this sort of open cup shape as you prune. I'll now just start to backfill this and gently press it down. 
that's the bare roots. When it comes to the container, you could plant these any time of the year, dead easy. Pop it out of its container, sit it in so it's perhaps a centimetre or two below the level of the container, backfill, water well in, and I'll just put compost all around them. Dead easy, dead simple. Thanks for watching, they're the easiest things to grow. That's Mark at Learn How to Garden saying bye for now.